Welcome back. We are here looking at the, the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and let's get to it. So we'll stop looking at WTI oil. And as you can see, we have had quite a nasty fall today, down 4.84%. And um, I don't know if how many people are using investing.com, but um, they give this really nice pop ups uh, when you have a bullish or bearish doji pattern. And yesterday warning was basically a medium uh, reliability that we would see a, a bearish candlestick today. It's not always 100% accurate, but it's a very nice future to be fair on. And what we got today is uh, a bearish candlestick that is roughly 5% to the downside. So this is additional uh, information that sometimes is handy or, you know, or to have an eye out. But if we look at this, we can see that we had this breakout from here where we broke to the upside, rallied quite significantly up towards uh, roughly $110 and then broke towards the 50 moving average. We did bounce a little bit from the 50, not significantly, but if we break below the 50 moving average, we may also rally or bounce from this line to the upside. If we break below this line, which is uh, give or take 92.85, then we may see this drop all the way down to the 200 moving average. Uh, inventory numbers just came out tonight and um, they there was a decrease or higher than expected basically means that demand is higher than expected in the united states and therefore um, expectations for a slowing economy most likely are over exaggerated and therefore uh, a bounce could be expected for tomorrow so if we take out this candlestick here which is uh, roughly a hundred and and ten we may see this market go towards 116, it's around here. And after that, it's this area here, which we need to take out from roughly 124 uh, all the way up towards 130. It's going to be an area of resistance. Um, but uh, finding support at the, 20, at the 50 moving average is uh, quite significant and if we manage to bounce from here then it's also additional indication that we may go higher if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd has crossed the signal line but is flat at this point stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so going to natural gas and finally we have a little bit of a pullback it started yesterday at the end of the session we had a fall we found major resistance at eight dollars give or take fell all the way to down to 7.8 dollars and today we had a massive fall all the way down to roughly seven dollars a little bit underneath seven dollars and ended up at the 7.25 dollars um this may be uh the beginning of a major pullback there is definitely damage done here but we are no longer significantly overbought we are at 71 but it's not at uh, at uh, 80 88 where we were yesterday uh, we can see the stochastic has crossed the signal line and uh, usually it drops to the low downside after a rally like this and if that is the case and then we will also see this go significantly lower the level that we're, i'm looking at is here we have a double top here which is roughly at 6.5 so this area here is kind of where I think we will see uh, this bounce from. If this breaks, then we have the 20 exponential moving this way, also fairly close to the same level. And if that breaks, then we have the 50 moving average moving it up here and the 200 moving average moving here. So we could see this drop all the way down to the 50 moving average, roughly at uh, seven, uh, 5.8, 5.7, give or take. Then we could bounce from there. And after that, we can drop towards the 200 moving average, which would be around $5. We'll also find massive, um, massive support around this area, mainly due to the reason that we have a double top here. 
And if this gives away, we'll also have a double top around this area here, which is roughly where we'll find the 200 moving average. So there are a lot of areas where we can bounce from, but the damage has definitely been done here. And I don't really see that we all of a sudden go back towards $8. We may go up towards $8 and then drop, but going towards nine and a half, $9, nine and a half at this point, before pulling back here, that would be very surprising. I would expect the MACD to drop here and cross, indicating bearish momentum, as we have the stochastic doing the same thing, and the RSI also continuing to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.